Susan, what is it, Audrey? You scared me. I scared you? Well, I'm sorry. What did I do? I heard you and Denisha talking, and it was scary. You said you were both, you were sad, and you were mad, and lots of people are sad and mad, and someone got hurt. Oh, Audrey, I'm really glad you told me what you heard. I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay. See, um, a white policeman hurt a black man named George Floyd so badly that the man died. He died? Mm -hmm. And you know what, Audrey? It's happened before, and it needs to stop. And that's what Denisha and I were talking about. Well, how come you were talking to Denisha? Because we work together and, you know, we help grown-ups and children talk about things that are hard to talk about, like what happened to George Floyd. And you know what? What? Denisha is going to be calling in because we're doing a video chat. And I'm wondering if you would like to talk to Denisha as well. I I'm guessing you have some more questions. I have lots of questions. Well, it's really good to talk to Denisha about things like that. I know. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to ask her things. Okay. And, and there she is. Denisha! You look beautiful. Thank you. You look amazing. How are you, Audrey? I'm, I'm confused. Denisha, um, Audrey heard the two of us talking about what happened to George Floyd and the protests and people being angry, and it scared her. So we've been talking about it, but I think I thought it might be helpful for her to talk to you as well. I want to talk to Denisha. Okay. I want to ask her something. Okay. Denisha, I heard you and Susan say a word, and I didn't know what it meant. What word did you hear, Audrey? Racism. Is that about running races? And if it is, why are you mad about it? Unfortunately, it's not about running races, Audrey. Well, what is it about? Racism is when people treat other people badly because of their race, or the color of their skin. You know how my skin is dark brown and I'm a black woman? Well, some people treat me badly because I'm black. They're not nice to me or they might be mean to me. And it makes us very sad and it makes us very mad because it's not fair to treat people badly because of their race or their skin color. And it's not fair when one group thinks another group isn't as good as them because of the race or because of the color of their skin. Well, did that happen to you, Denisha? Yes, it has happened to me before. That's terrible. What happened to you? Well, once when I was a little girl and I went to school, I had a friend named Jane who's white. And at school, we played together all the time and we wanted to play together after school. And my mom had to tell me that Jane's parents, who are also white, didn't want me to play with her at her house because I'm black and they wouldn't let me come over and play with her. But and that's stupid. It is stupid, Audrey. And it made me sad because you know what? I like being black. I love being black. I love my skin color. I love my hair. And I just wanted to play with my friend. So it wasn't fair that they wouldn't let us play together. Do you think that somebody wouldn't want to play with me because I'm an orange duck? I hope that nobody ever doesn't want to play with you because you're an orange duck. And Audrey, if they did, it would be wrong. And if anything like that happens to you, or if you know anybody else that it happens to, I really want you to tell me, okay? Because it's just, it's not fair. It's just, it's just wrong. You want me to tell you? Mm-hmm. I will tell you. Okay. But I, 
I have another question. Okay. I have a million questions. Okay, go ahead. What's your next question? Well, I heard you and Susan that saying that people were protesting. Why were people protesting? Well, people protest. One reason why they protest is to say that they don't think racism is fair and they want it to end. So they get together, lots of people, and they carry signs and they march in the street together. And they tell everyone that this needs to stop because it's not fair and it's not right. Have you ever gone to a protest? Yes, I've gone to a few protests. I was at one a couple weeks ago. You, you were? And, and did you carry a sign? I did make a sign for the protest. What did it say? My sign said, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter? Yeah, actually a lot of signs said Black Lives Matter because that's one thing that we say to let people know that racism is not fair and we don't like it and we want it to go away. Can, can I go to a protest? You know, I think there are going to be a lot of protests coming up, Audrey, and sure, you can go to a protest with me and maybe the three of us could even go together. Will you go to a protest with me and Susan, Jen Denisha? I would love to go to a protest with you and Susan, Audrey. And can I carry a sign? Sure. What, what do you want your sign to say, Audrey? I want my sign to be exactly like Denisha's. I want it to say, Black Lives Matter. I think it's great that you want to carry a sign like that. And I want to make one. Okay. I want to make one now. Okay, well, why don't you, you go get some cardboard and crayons and you can make a sign right now. But I have one more question for Denisha. Okay. Denisha? Yes, Audrey? Can, can we go after the protest? Can we play together in the park like we've done before? I think that would be a great way to end a protest by playing in the park with you, Audrey. Really? That sounds like fun. Can I come too? Maybe. Maybe. I was just teasing. Okay. I'm going to go make my sign. Right. And Audrey, if you have any more questions or anything you're worried about, you, you can come to me. You can come to Denisha too. Okay. Bye, Denisha. Bye, Audrey. Bye, Denisha. Thank bye, you. Bye-bye.